The Bavarian State Library is a quite old building. It has a quite complex structure that is often very disorientating for our users. These users are not only students, it are researchers as well and also tourists. Up to now we were not able to do this because GPS will not work inside such a building and this was the opportunity to use a Beacons technology to experiment with these new options for leading our users. When we started, we couldn't find a project of that size of eye beacons for benchmarking. Uh, so we did together with the Technical University in Munich the evaluation of all available technologies at the time and quickly found out it's quite at the beginning, it's very beta or that's on the market. Uh, finally, we ended up with the positioning SDK uh, from Austrian company Indoors and with the beacons uh, from Contact IO. Uh, all the contact management and all the programming, of course, we did ourselves. What Indoors does is Indoors provides an SDK for mobile devices like phones and tablets for Android and iOS that provides indoor positioning and navigation. We at Indoors use iBeacons as well as the inertial sensors within the phone, so a gyroscope, an accelerometer, barometer, and fuse that together to get a decent amount of accuracy. In a big project like this, you come across lots of different challenges. One is you have to make it manageable, starting with the hardware. You should remember very clearly where you have placed all the beacons. You should put a process in place how to change the battery and last but not least how to change a beacon when it gets broken without changing the app. Also very important is content management. From previous projects uh, we have a content management for location-based service apps. Uh, we added the availability uh, to manage beacons uh, into this framework and so uh, the Bayerische Staatsbibliothek can manage just with a web browser the whole content without us and also they can translate it in the system. The application was designed as an experiment and I was really excited about how well it works. Um, the different functionalities play perfectly together and are yes, apt to lead the users of this complex building even to the most dislocated parts and service point here in this house. I think the time for inner navigation based on beacons is now. Uh, the technology is mature enough. Uh, beacons are not very expensive and compared to traditional Wi-Fi based proprietary systems uh, it's relatively cheap and it's an open standard. So I think uh, in the near future uh, inner navigation based on beacons is a possibility for small and also medium sized objects and buildings to get inner navigation for an affordable price. Mm -hmm.